Detroit Red Wings season preview, right here at HockeyTube.com. The Detroit Red Wings are in danger of not making the playoffs at all this year. It's true, it's true, a lot of people don't know it, but NHL teams have discovered Detroit's weakness. Kryptonite. Now there's a lot of teams in the NHL you can look at and say they will or won't make the playoffs. And only a handful you can say should win their division. But with the Wings, it's not even a question. Forget their own division. If the Wings did not take the entire Western Conference again, I think people would be very surprised. And forget about the Western Conference. People are saying they can win the Cup again for the first time since, well, they did it. And if the so-called Stanley Cup hangover hits the Detroit Red Wings, it can hit anybody. So last year the defense finished number one and they didn't make any changes. Nothing really to say there. On offense, Detroit finished number three, and now they've lost Dallas Drake, but gained Marion Hosa. What is your secret? Detroit's top two lines are something along the lines of Datsuk, Zetterberg, Hosa, Fronson, <laughs> Holmstrom, and, I don't know, maybe Philpola. That's disgusting! A minor question is, and I only mention this because we've seen it before, is there enough room for all of them on this one team? The answer, though, is probably yes, because it's Detroit. They have a winning atmosphere, and they know what to do. The most major subtraction from the Wings this year, I suppose, would be losing Dominic Hasek to being old. Of course, looking at Chelios, he's not that old. Instead, they have another former Penguin to join Hosa, Ty Conklin. Now, for a lot of people, when you think Ty Conklin, what do you think about... Rod Brindamore, Oilers a few years ago. Last year, he had an incredibly redeeming season with the Penguins, picking up a lot of the slack when Fleury went down to injury. Nicholas Cronwall only seems to be getting better now that he's healthy, and of course, Nicholas Lidstrom. What do you even say? He's incredible. Barring any major long-term injuries to the Detroit Red Wings, there's no reason to believe they shouldn't be right back in the final. My question to you would be, is this team really truly affected if Chris Osgood goes down to injury? Are they that talented? What makes Detroit look even more amazing is their division. Chicago is the only other team than them that might make the playoffs next year, and it's still not even guaranteed. I might just get the years replaced on this hat because they should be winning the cup again, but you never know. Who might challenge the Wings for the cup this year? Watch our other videos at HockeyTube.com.